we have to mention it, Benji, the, the littering yeah. issue. We said in the men's recap, it's not going to be long until a big rider in a big race situation litters and they don't get penalised. And on Twitter, we've already seen footage of Van Vleuten littering, throwing a bit on the same as Cher with 42 Ks to go and it's out of a littering zone. So it should be a DSQ. We were not going to talk about it, but it's been publicised now and the podium's done, etc. because we think the rule is stupid. Like we're not going to dob people in, but it's been publicised. What do you think, Benji? Like would you feel better if Van Vleuten had been disqualified? No, but I'd feel better if Cher was not. <laughs> it doesn't make yeah. it. Yeah. Like... I think everybody that watched his race is happy that Van Vleuten is not disqualified except for the people that ended second and third in the race. Yeah. Um, She's the but, strongest. But it bugs me so much that it's between the men's and the women's race of the same event on the same day, there's already, already a huge difference when it comes to the appliance of the, uh, of the rule. And that inconsistency annoys the hell out of me because I think that's kind of falsifying the race for some people I just there would have had in the men's race an extra rider to take care of and right here von vleuten yeah she's kept in for the same thing i think they both should have been kept in i don't think von vleuten should have been dequeued for this uh so far we've got no news of that we waited till the podium to confirm this because we don't want to kind of put it out there on the on the podcast as first thing and be the people that call this out because I still believe that she should not be DQ'd for that and you as well. But ah, it's 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 just fucking annoying, isn't it? <laughs> it's stupid because like we talk to La Flamme Rouge a lot and because we're degenerates, we watch every kilometer of every race live. We even listen to race radio and all that sort of stuff and we see everything, got people replaying, sending us clips and there's so many people that littered today and it's going to be impossible unless the UCI, I don't know, spends 10 grand every race hiring 50 people to watch the race and tell them <laughs> the, to catch it all. And ma- I know guy, that's not an excuse. One guy with a Twitter account is enough, mate. <laughs> yeah, true. Twitter's enough. Just, I mean, that is actually what they use for VR. They just troll Twitter. And that's why we were worried about mentioning the Van Vleuten thing. And imagine how stupid it would look if the women had this fantastic race, all the favourites in front group, big attack on Canaryberg, Paderberg, all great, good result, clean racing. And then afterwards it's like, nah, she threw a bit on. And it was near people. Uh, People went and picked it up, I assume. And she got disqualified. That would just make the race look like a joke. And it also changes, like, that happened at 40 k's to go. And then she's competing in the sprint. It changes the race situation behind, you know, the way Brenauer and all the others ride. Like, what if SD Works knew they were racing for first? They wouldn't have pulled so much. And then they would have attacked with Vollering and Van der Breggen, And they would have, quote, unquote, won. It's so stupid. So, anyway. We've said enough on it. Otherwise, thankfully, they missed it. So unlucky, go share. If you've enjoyed it all, go to Ko-Fi link if you want to support the podcast or alternatively, a like on the YouTube channel or a review on your podcast players is all we need uh, for your support. But we get that support in droves and we really appreciate it. See you next time. Ciao.